Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are gonna be talking about digital planners and how we can sync it up to our online calendar such as Google Calendar or Apple Calendar. So if you are new here, my name is Winda and I am the blogger behind windowful.com where I share planning tips and printables to help you streamline your life. A lot of people tend to think that digital planners are apps, but they are not. They are basically just a paper planner in digital form. It is a hyperlinked PDF where you can flip through the pages easily using the hyperlinks, but essentially it's just something that you put into an app such as GoodNotes or NoteShelf and that you can write on. So there isn't a way for you to sync it directly into Google Calendar. If you don't have a planner with the Google Calendar links or the Apple Calendar links, then this little hack that I'm gonna show you in this video is going to help you find a way to sync up your digital planner to your Google Calendar easily. I personally like this method a lot better than the Google Calendar links because with the Google Calendar links, you click it and it opens up from your digital planner, but it opens up into a new window. And the method that I'm gonna show you guys is more side by side. So let's just get into the video so I can show you how it works. Okay guys, so before we get into the method that I'm gonna show you, first let's talk about the Google Calendar links inside of Digital Planner. So I created a digital planner with the Google Calendar links. So when you click on one of the Google Calendar links, pops up with this external link pop-up and you have to hit yes, and then it opens up in a new window. I personally don't like to plan having to switch back between windows. Of course, there is a workaround where you can open up your digital planner and then open up Safari first so that your events just opens up side by side like this. When you click on it, you hit yes, and then it opens up in a new window side by side. But honestly, who wants to go through all that? You might not need the Google Calendar links in your digital planner with my method. This method is more streamlined, less distracting, and allows for immediate customization. No new windows, no pop-ups, just a smooth and seamless process. This is why I prefer this method over the Google Calendar links. So if you are on iOS and you use the Apple Calendar for your Google Calendar and everything, this drag and drop method that I'm gonna show you is going to change the way you plan and sync up your planner. If you want a true sync where your events are automatically shown inside of your digital planner, I have a video that shows you how to do that. I'll link it down below for you. But if you want to simply just take your written plans and put it into your online calendar, then this video is going to be for you. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to make sure is that your Google Calendar, if you use Google Calendar, is linked into your Apple Calendar. So you're going to go into settings and you're going to go to calendar and you're going to make sure you add your Gmail account into your Apple account so that it shows up. After you do that, then you want to first open up your GoodNotes app with your digital planner. We're gonna swipe up so that this bar comes up and you wanna make sure that your calendar app is in this bar so that you can drag and open up your calendar in a new window that's side by side. Okay, so you'll see that it opens up your calendar. You wanna make sure that it's on this daily schedule view so that you can add tasks directly into your day. If you wanna add it to your weekly view, you simply just have to swipe this over so that it opens up the calendar screen a little bit bigger, but you still have your digital planner on this side, just a little bit smaller. And then you're gonna hit on this week tab so that you can see your entire week. And then in order to add your tasks, so let's go to my original digital planner, and we're just going to hit this editing tool so that we can edit our events. And we're gonna go to the lasso tool, and we're just going to circle the event that we wanna copy into our planner. Then we are just going to hold on to it until this invisible box appears so that we can move our task into the calendar. So we're just going to move it and you'll see this green plus sign. So it will add your event that you copied directly into the day and time that you want. If you want it to be an all day event, you can simply drag it into this all day area and you'll see it has the all day event added for you. So there's no time. And then you can change the calendar that it's in 
right there. You can add an alert if you need it. And then you just hit add and it'll add your movie night event directly into your Google Calendar or your Apple Calendar. So if you want it to be on a specific date and time, you're just going to copy that task and drag it into the time that you want. And you can see you can change it from 3.15, 3.30, 3.45. And we can just add that event and you see it starts at 3.45, ends at 4.45. Again, you can change the calendar. You can add an alert, customize it any way you want, and then just hit add and it will add your event right there. So it's just a simple drag and drop method. You're already doing this step where you are lassoing your event and then adding it into your Google Calendar. So this just skips the step of having to click on that Google Calendar link. So let me show you guys with the Google Calendar links. You have to click it, hit yes. Actually, let's do it with the Safari app. Okay, so you have to click that link first for the date that you want to add that task. And then you have to get your task, then copy it once that window is open to that date. And then you can hit save and then it'll add the event. So again, let me show you guys how much easier it is with just using the Apple Calendar. We don't have to click on any links. We don't have to open up a new window or anything. We just have our calendar and our digital planner side by side. And we just take our task and add it into the day that we're planning. Again, open up that window a little bigger if you are planning weekly and just add it as an all day event to either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and just add your event there. Customize it the way you want and then just click add. And it's simple and easy, no small links that you need to keep switching from edit mode or view mode. You don't have to click on those little teeny tiny Google Calendar links. It's just drag and drop. So that's it. That's how you sync up your digital planner into your online calendar. So this is why I personally like this method and you might not even need those Google Calendar links anymore in your digital planner. So if you found this video helpful, just hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tips and tricks. Okay, so if you have any questions or suggestions, then please just drop them in the comments below. I'll see you guys in my next video.